The geothermal development company has been in the Parque Geothermal Field exploring and drilling geothermal wells. Two weeks ago, the company struck steam in the first well it had drilled. Managing Director Johnson Olin Choi projects that steam from this well will be used to generate electricity over the next 40 years. This has been a, a culmination of a, a lot of work by the Geothermal Development Company together with other partners, KFW and others. Kenya is endowed with a lot of resources. It shows that um, the well which they have just finished drilling at 2,500 meters mm -hmm. is a, a productive well. Mm -hmm. It's still undergoing testing for the last 14 days. Mm -hmm. It will take about three months so that we get to know the performance. Olin Choi has been leading government and private sector delegations to Baringo as GDC explores financing for drilling about 30 wells in the area. As you can see, this is just a discovery of the steam. It's another process to, be, to put up the power plant. But in the medium term to the long term, it will bring down the cost of power in the country. Whatever we are going to do the, to generate power here is going to serve all Kenyans. It's going to serve all Kenyans because once we do the transmission lines, it will evacuate power. Of course, it will start from where we come from, all the way to Cabernet. That is where we've done the line from Cabernet. We have done the line to Lesos, mm -hmm. connecting to the, the one of Suswa. Mm -hmm. And then it will open up the whole region of the country and then it will promote the development. The government offered cash that was spent on laying the key infrastructure such as roads and water reticulation system for drilling operations. In addition, the cash financed 120 kilometers of community water system, including 20 watering points for domestic use as well as for watering livestock, which has been welcomed by area leaders and residents. We have benefited in terms of the water uh, networks that are uh, water bring, being brought all the way from Lake Baringo uh, to Paka and to Selale, uh, both for livestock and domestic use, with proper treatment that is, that is happening to those uh, to that water. They have 20 community water points, and from that water points, we are going to connect now to ex to extend the piping from the existing one where the GDC have already met. We thank them because they have now installed, uh, they have brought water to us. And now this water, we are sure that it is going to assist the school. It is going to reduce the absenteeism of the learners. And in general, it is also going to increase the enrollment of the school. When the government did an assessment in this area, water was a very big need. And therefore, the government of Kenya actually uh, took a loan from KFW to finance to meet the objectives of the Big Four agenda. As you see, it also uh, improves on the, one of the key anchors, which is food security, because without water you can't talk about food. The first phase of the Baringo Silali geothermal project targets to develop 300 megawatts of electricity spread in three geothermal areas, namely Korosi, Parker and Silali. Government officials believe the success of the Baringo Silali Geothermal Project is critical to the Big Four agenda since renewable and affordable energy will boost all the sectors of the economy. This is in line with the Big Four agenda of the Jubilee government. It's not just about the roads and the geothermal energy, but it's also about the people. We are, the investment we're going to do it will really enhance the development of the Big Four agenda in terms of manufacturing, even housing will come up. Mm -hmm.